Hello and welcome. I'm on the lot at Honda. And today we're going to take a look at a 2017 Accord versus a 2018 Accord. Let's take a look at the differences and how they look and some prices. This is a V6 Touring. This is a 2017. And down there is a Touring 2018. All right. So uh, look at the differences here in the 2018 in this white one. Right. And the 17. Now, the 2018 gains a couple of inches of wheelbase, making it, like, gigantic inside. Okay, now the only benefit, this is a V6 Touring, by the way. You cannot get a V6 in the 2018, and we're going to talk about engines here. The benefit of the 2017 right now is you could make a deal on it, right? We're already 2018, so you're going to get some kind of deal on this car. You know, we're not necessarily going to be dealing on a brand new, you know, 18. So that's going to be a little bit of difference. So let's take a look at it, uh, the engine choices here. This V6, right, last year for the V6 2017. Numbers 2133 on it. It's 35805. Remember that number. And it's made right here in Marysville, Ohio, where my brother-in-law works making this car. He may have painted this very car. Okay, and it gets a full load of uh, everything. Of course, the uh, sticker here that this dealer charges extra for, which we've talked about many times, right? Never pay for that, okay? Of course. I like the Honda wheels on it, on that one. But these wheels are just fantastic, I think, in the new one. Really, I really like those. You got to, if you get one, you got to get that. Now, this 2018 Touring, we have the 1.5 in it, which is 192 horsepower, by the way. So it's no slouch. It's got uh, nice wheels as well. And it's, of course, rolling on. What are we looking at here? It's at the bottom. They should put that at the top. They know I'm going to be out here today filming. Huh. Michelins. Michelins. All right. No H word tires on this one. The word that shall not be spoken. Oh, look at this. 2935. Okay, so we're doing better, and the price, $34,675, is less on a Touring. Now, the downside is CVT. All 1.5s for the automatic get a CVT. Blah, right? Blah. But look, you get the whole Honda Sensing is standard on all new Accords, no matter, even if you get the base cheap model, right? It's standard on all of them. So you get adaptive cruise, collision mitigation, lane keeping, blind spot monitoring. All that comes on every Accord now. So that's pretty sweet. But 34675 I mean, and that's the 1.5. Now, if you get the 2 liter, you're at 306 horsepower, and that gets a 10-speed automatic. Even better news is you can get a 6-speed manual with either engine. Either engine gets you the six-speed manual as a choice. How sweet is that? This red one, I like the wheels on that. That really looks makes it look good. But here, the one, the way most people will buy this car is like this. And unfortunately, it's white. They won't get a white one, but they'll get them like this, which is an EXL 1.5. So 30 grand, about 30 grand is what we're looking at. But uh, look at this, 30, 38. And, of course, the CVT, blah, but it's Honda Sensing. It doesn't have really any options on it, so this is all standard stuff, including LED headlights from the Acuras. If you remember, for a while, now, Acuras had LED headlights. All new Accords get LED headlights, even the cheapy ones. Pretty fancy. Now, this one, because it's a Touring has them, but they didn't have it on all of them. It does kind of look like it has a unibrow on the front of these cars. That's a 2018, and that's a 2017. So the front changed a little bit. A little bit of difference on it. 17 right there, 18. You get just standard tires on, the, uh, on this one. They're still okay, right? They're just regular. These are Michelins, too, which is pretty nice. Alloys, of course, because it's an EX. Look at their nitrogen-filled. See the green bean there? Nitrogen-filled from the factory. But are they? I saw a show about that. Apparently, a lot of these nitrogen places don't even give you nitrogen at the fill point. So, 
Uh, I'm still, uh, you know, not filling my tires with that. The Escape still running only 78% nitrogen. All right. And the EXL, of course, leather. L leather. EXs get the roof. Okay, we have to do something other than white. But look, it looks to, it looks totally different, right? It totally is a new look. It's basically integrated dual exhaust, right? Rather than, you know, there they are in that. There they are there. They look better integrated. Those sort of hang there. Look a little better. It's totally bigger in all dimensions. It's gigantic inside. It has over a 16 cubic foot trunk. That's crazy. It's almost basically a large car, but still gets great mileage. 2018 Accord. Go pick one up today. Gets a whale fin antenna as opposed to the beanie antenna. All right. So that's the 2018 Accord in white, unfortunately. Maybe go get a different color, get a touring, and get the 2 liter just so you can get the 10 speed. The CVTs just drag all the fun out of everything. Even though they try to make it better, they try to make it seem like it shifts or whatever, forget it. Forget it. 2 liter, 10 speed, really get the 6 speed manual. Although I don't think anybody's going to take my advice on that. All right. 2018 Accord. Thanks for watching.